I am not oppressing anyone. You're oppressing me? I am not oppressing you. I'm just exercising my authority to force you to do something you don't want to do. That's the exact definition of oppression. I have a story. Once upon a time, there was a little peanut who found a magical hat, which was also a puppy who could play the flute the end. I'm not going back in my shell! And we're not getting out of ours! Come on, back me up! I don't know. The atmosphere's getting kind of icy, wouldn't you say? This argument is just not my cup of tea. Mainly because I don't like my tea laced with face-melting poison. Uh, I think maybe you guys need outside help. I agree. Gumball, you decide. Shell or no shell. I meant more like professional help. You mean like a counselor? Yeah, or like a cage fighting referee or something. Nonsense. I trust you'll make the right decision. For the good of everyone. Including you. Feeling the weight of this decision? <sighs> Maybe you should have stopped at the axe. Yeah, I got a bit carried away and lost the plot a little. It's okay, I got the message. Good. Oh, try not to worry too much. Just follow your heart and say what you want to say. I know you'll make the right decision. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Fitzgerald. Here, have a cookie. It'll help clear your mind. Ah, uh, thank you. What the what? W what happened? Oh, just a little accident in the kitchen. Okay. Good boy. Bye now. Oh, no, no, no. Whatever. <laughs> Message from Penny. I know you'll say the right thing. Aw, then she added a little thumbs up emoji to cheer me on. That was the closest I could find to a hand with missing fingers, just to clarify it was a threat. Uh, what is that? A croco duck. A... Okay, cool. I have made my decision, and to illustrate my point, I'm going to tell you a story. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, in a castle far, far away, lived a king who was irrationally scared of the world outside. Hi, do you know where I can get my parking ticket validated? <laughs> so he decided to close the doors of their castle forever. Oh, it's cool, man. I just realized that actually we're in medieval times and there's no such things as cars. But closing the doors was not enough. The king made everyone wear a suit of armor. It wasn't practical, but they got used to it. Apart from one person, the princess, who one day came out of her armor. And she was beautiful. Ah, I think the princess could look a bit better than that. Right, sorry. Oh, sorry, that's not what I was trying to do. Come on, I look as if I could lick my own forehead. Uh, sorry, oh, let me just, um... Okay, okay, whatever. Just get on with the story, please. The king was upset she ditched her armor, but the princess wanted everyone else to ditch theirs too, and be themselves. So she invited an impossibly handsome prince to solve the problem. Oh, prince that I love, please help us reach a decision. But the king warned him. May this decision be right, or I will take your hand and it won't be in marriage. And the princess replied. <laughs> which was either a threat or an angry burp, and neither was good news. So the prince gave his answer in the form of a story. Once upon a time, there was a family of cocoons living happily on a tree branch. Then one day, one of the cocoons broke open, and from within emerged... A beautiful butterfly! Come out of your cocoons, guys, and be gorgeous, too! The cocoon family was fuming. You could see it on their faces. The situation was tense, so they called a handsome ladybug boy to help them resolve the problem. And you know what the ladybug said? Once upon a time, uh... there was a family of seeds who lived deep underground. They loved it. But one day, one of the seeds decided to grow, and she became a beautiful flower. The other seeds didn't like it, so they called a handsome gardener to solve the problem. Hey, I said handsome. Uh, 
Anyway, you know what the gardener said. Once upon a time... Oh, Gumball, you can't just keep saying the same thing over and over and expect people to change their minds. Trust me, I've tried that with my parents enough times to grow new muscles on my palm. Exactly. Repeating the same point to someone who disagrees with you doesn't change their mind. It just makes them angrier! Your inane stories are doing exactly what we're... D what we're... What we're doing to each other. Maybe we just need to agree to disagree. Yeah. It's like riding a three-legged horse. It won't be a smooth ride, and it will definitely hurt your butt. But at least it still goes somewhere. Wow, that was really smart, Gumball. Using those stories to show us how... <laughs>